this example, we want to solve this multivariable equation for d. This multivariable equation has three variables, x, y, and d in it. And we want to just get d all by itself. And so the first thing I notice when I'm looking at this equation is there's a set of parentheses there. Um, but that term that involves the parentheses, um, everything in that term is multiplied together. And so we could use our um, properties of multiplication to just make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to rewrite that term. Um, we've got the x times the 2 times the y times the d. So a more... Um, typical way that we could see that would be having the coefficient 2 in front and then we've got the x, y times the d. And I write it out there with that little dot d because I know d is what I want to solve for. So in some sense the 2xy is the coefficient on d if d is a variable we're really focusing on. Um, then the right hand side there is already pretty clean. So now knowing that I need to solve for D, what I first look for now that I have kind of all the terms in a clean form is where is D located? And I realize that D is located in exactly one term uh, right there. And so what I want to do is isolate that single term on one side of the equation and get all other terms on the other side of the equation that don't have D in it. And so I'm going to keep the 2xy times D on the left hand side. Um, my 4x I'm going to keep on the right hand side. But my y squared that's on the left hand side right now needs to move to the right. So I need to subtract y squared from both sides to get um, to to get it um, separate from the terms that have d in it. So now our very last step to isolate our d is everything that's sitting out in front of the d needs it is multiplied by d. And so to undo the multiplication, we divide. And of course, if we're going to divide one side of an equation by something, we got to divide both sides of the equation by that same thing. And so we divide both sides of the equation by 2xy. So now uh, the left-hand side reduces out to give us just the d isolated by itself, just like we wanted it to be. And then on the right-hand side, we've got 4x minus y squared on top all over the 2xy. And perhaps it looks like that right-hand side could reduce. I mean, it's really tempting because we have a 4 sitting on top and a 2 on the bottom. We actually have an X on top and bottom. We have a Y on the top and bottom. But the thing about it is, is the top has no common factors between the two terms that are on the top separated by the subtraction sign. So there's not a common factor that we could pull out um, to multiply by anything so that we would have the multiplication and division to reduce. And so because of that subtraction sign up there on the top, nothing uh, reduces um, further in this um, in this particular fraction. So this not only has isolated our D, but we have verified that it is as reduced as it possibly can be, uh, written as cleanly as it can be.